Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show, I'm going to show you how to build the adapter cable for your NABU computer. This will allow you to plug your NABU computer into a desktop or laptop and then from there go out to the NABU world and get programs and applications. So let's peek inside, poke around and build a cable. <laughs> So to start to build a cable, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need the adapter. This uh, comes with both pieces. The actual adapter plugs into the USB port and another piece that connects here which has the terminals and here is the I'm not sure if it's showing up on the camera but the labeling of the connectors where to screw in what wire where. We're gonna need uh, a, a wire stripper some coax uh, cable, not coax, uh, I use the CAT5E cable as a network uh, type cable which has twisted pair meaning the wires inside are all twisted just like I did manually on my uh, actual handmade cable. Now, the reason why you want to twist it is so that uh, any strange or stray signals that come through are not impacting the quality of the signal going through from your NABU to your computer. So we want that. We don't want to use straight wires. Um, they're going to have interference. This won't, will cancel each other out. We're also going to need the the uh, five pin DIN with the um, shielding. We're going to need some uh, shrink tubing, pad paper, tweezers, wire cutters, and uh, the drawing. Now, before we go there, the manual on the back has um, a listing here of where wire, what wires go where, and. Uh, before we get to that part, we need to look at the exact wiring for the NABU. So here we can see the actual 5-pin DIN mail connector viewed from the outside or from the front. And there's 5 pins. The first one is receive positive, which is pin 1. The one below that is pin 4, which is receive negative. The one in the bottom is not used at all. The one to the left of that is the is pin five and is is transmit positive, and the one final one above that is pin three, which is transmit negative. So based on this diagram, we'll know how to wire up the actual five pinned in. So let's try and put that together now. So the first thing we need to do is strip the wiring on the uh, cable here. Now, in a uh, twisted cable, you're going to find several pairs. You're going to find um, yellow, uh, orange with a white orange cable wire, brown with a br white brown. You'll find a green and a, a green wire with a white green, and a blue with a blue and white wire. Now, you only need four wires, so we're going to cut two of the pairs off. So we only have two pairs. I'm using the orange and the white orange and I'm using the brown and the white brown. You can use any pair as long as on both ends you have the same wires. Like you don't want to have uh, brown, white brown, um, orange, sorry, uh, brown and white brown, orange and white orange and you know the green and blue on this side you want them the same on both ends so using the wires when you're ready to go you can also test them out now I've already stripped the wires I've left the green wire intact I'm not sure if it's showing up here but left the green wire intact on both ends um, I'll be using this as a ground although you don't really need the ground so we'll see if I need to if I plug this onto the cable or not uh, once they're stripped you want to write down uh, which wires are you going to be using for what? So let's finish untwisting these so they are twisted. And I'm going to take my pad and paper and we're going to write down. So we want to write down the four pins. So it's uh, pin 
one, two, three, and number four. So pin one, uh, we'll use white orange. So white and orange. Then number two, we'll use orange. Then the next one we'll use. Now that I've soldered all the ends on, according to the uh, the wiring diagram we've written down here, the color code, I've got to mention that I've wrote before I wrote one two three four. It's one four five three, and each one I've wrote the color. So this is white orange, and I also put down based on the chart from the beginning of the video. It's received positive. Next one is four orange received negative. Five is white brown transmit positive, and then three is brown transmit negative. And these are the number. These are what we're going to need for the other end. So here is the finished product. I've soldered the ends on. They're not, it's not fun to do. It's a little bit tricky, but once it's done, it's good to go. So now we will put the end the this little piece on here. Uh, this piece clicks over the top of here and the wires go underneath that and then you can you can pinch that to hold the wires in place. Uh, this is so that the screw has somewhere to go when you put the shielding back on. So let's pinch the we'll pinch these later. Let's just see if we can get the the lid back on and screw it up. So we'll just slide slide this end back over here and then this will go over to where this hold of the screw is so you can just push that in and you push it all the way in until it lines up with the hole and there we have it it's lined up with the hole there see Okay, and then a little screw, we put the screw back in, and then we just tighten it down. Uh, we're getting close to the end here so next thing you know we're plugging the next step we need to do is to plug our adapter into this adapter here and what I recommend doing is getting the screws loose so that you can easily plug it in on both sides here if your turning doesn't it doesn't come out what I do is I put my finger behind the screw and I'm pushing, I'm pushing my nail against the screw as I'm turning it so it comes undone. So then we plug this into here and tighten up the screws. Okay, now we're set. We can start plugging into our Nabu and into the PC and fire up the software. And this is the my other cable that I've created. This works fine. And we see that Nabu is connecting. And we have access. Where are we getting there? My cable, the second cable, is defective. There's some problem. There's some problem with this device. So it's a cheap quality and um, well, it's too bad. I'll have to see if I can get a refund, but this is the old cape, the second cable, which is no good. I had to use the original cable from this other adapter 
and it works fine so it wasn't my wiring i had to second guess but anyways here is the nabu uh network connected hopefully you learned something and can make your own cable now thanks for coming